So when people talk about blood pooling, they almost always go toward, let me show you what my legs look like and look at this discoloration in their legs. But there's actually something very interesting in that. And before you guys start sending me foot pictures, you can see that there can be different colorations between like a reddish purple and more of like a blue purple that looks like that deep purple. And they actually can be from different things. When we think of the more like reddish color that we get in the legs, it kind of takes a little bit of time to develop, especially like when you're sitting down or hanging your legs over. That can be more typically from like venous pooling, which is going to be, we're not able to push that blood flow up through the veins enough and we start to see it kind of like lingering down in the lower extremities, which is different than what we'd see in something that's called acrocyanosis, where it's more that like blue purple. And that actually comes from deoxygenated blood that's kind of hanging out. And that can be because of problems with like congestion in the capillaries, but it can also be from vasoconstriction in the blood vessels in the skin, which is really important because those vessels are under different control mechanisms than the ones that are pushing your blood pressure around through the muscles. So knowing that little subtle difference between like what is more of like the red color versus which is more of like the really deep blue purple can actually be really helpful in the diagnosis of understanding why some of that pooling is happening in the first place. So I hope that helps. Don't send me foot pictures, but leave comments below. Thanks.